Welcome to day one of this week's devotional on the topic of Sabbath. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I'm good at. I'm good at, uh, you know, playing baseball. Uh, I'm good at playing guitar or hanging out with high school and middle school students, or uh, I'm really good at being a present father. But there are some things that I'm not good at. And I can tell you one of those things that will be relevant to our topic this week, and maybe some of you can relate to. I am not very good at rest. I'm a go, go, go kind of person. I always have kind of things before me that I know that I need to get done. This mental to-do list that if I don't do it now, it'll never get done. And uh, what we're going to be talking about this week, I think, is a very relevant topic for many of us, as I actually don't think a whole lot of us are very good at rest. And I especially don't think a whole lot of us are very good at Sabbath, at least the Sabbath that God has in mind for us. I remember the first time that I had this real overarching sense that I needed some rest. It was after this long week of uh, being uh, in a mission trip in Appalachia. And we, uh, you know, there was, you know, hard work. It was physically exhausting. It was emotionally exhausting, you know, working with students all week long and all of the emotions they were going through. I was drained when I came to the end of the week. And I remember I came home and I shut off my phone and I forced myself to rest because my body had reached its limit. And what the author says in the book this week, and I want us to get thinking about on this very first day on this topic, is this. He says, the scripture is clear and consistent. God gives rest. God has rest for his people. And God has rest for you. You may believe that, but are you able to receive that? Are you able to understand that you're longing for rest, not just physically, but emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually, and missed all the storms in your life, is a reflection of God's own deep and compassionate longing for you. Is that God has this gift for us in rest. And it's not just so that we can uh, recuperate and, and re, uh, reinvigorate ourselves in uh, all those different ways, but it's so that we can meet with him and be with him and recognize that we need him and we need to trust him. And so think about that. There is a, a command from scripture on our lives to get rest because we need it. So start thinking about that this day. Man, do I need rest and when can I get it? And that's what we're going to look at a little bit more tomorrow.